All right, let's see what else is in store for us down here. In the first part of this assignment, we were taking a look at triangles where we were given one angle and the length of one of the sides and asked to calculate the side length of another side in that right angle triangle. Now, it looks like we are being given two side lengths and asked to determine the angle. You have to have two side lengths in order to calculate any angle using trigonometry. Remember our trig ratios, I'll rewrite them up here and it's always good for you to have them somewhere handy to help you remember. We have sine is equal to opposite over hypotenuse, cosine is equal to adjacent over hypotenuse, and tangent is equal to opposite over adjacent. And now what we have to do is we have to determine which one of the trig ratios we're going to use to calculate the unknown angle in each one of these triangles. To do that, we have to start by labeling everything. So theta is up in this corner here, so that means that the opposite is down here this time. The hypotenuse is always opposite the 90 degree angle, and this side is the adjacent. So in this case, we know the adjacent, and we know the hypotenuse. We don't know anything about the opposite, so we are going to be using a trig ratio that combines adjacent and hypotenuse, which is the cosine ratio. So let's write in what we know. We know the adjacent is 6 and we know that the hypotenuse is 10. Our trig ratio we're using is cosine of angle theta is going to equal adjacent over hypotenuse. Let's plug in what we know. So we get cosine of angle theta is going to equal 6 over 10. Now we want to figure out what theta is and we're not really interested in finding out what cosine of theta is. So our next step is to effectively move cosine over to the other side of the equation and when we do that it becomes cosine inverse. So now we have theta equals cosine inverse of 6 over 10. Now if you'd like you can go ahead and calculate what this fraction is but I'm going to show you on the calculator how you can do this all in one step. So because I'm using a Windows calculator this is a backwards calculator I need to calculate what the value of the fraction is first. So let's bring that up. I'm going to go 6 divided by 10, and I know this was a fairly easy one. I'm going to hit equals, and I know it's 0 0.6. Now I've typed in my ratio. I can go into trig and second function, and we're using the cosine inverse this time. And we now know that angle theta must be 53.13 degrees. All right, let's take a look at the second question. Now our angle is down in this bottom corner here, so that means that the opposite is over here, hypotenuse is here, and adjacent is here. We are given information about the opposite, and we are given information about the hypotenuse. We don't have any information about the adjacent, so that means we are using the trig function that combines opposite and hypotenuse, which in this case is going to be sine. So let's write in our information. We we're going to put 7 in for the opposite and 10 in for the hypotenuse. So we have sine of theta is going to equal opposite over hypotenuse. Sine of theta, which is what we're looking for, is going to equal 7 over 10. We're going to move the sine over to the other side, or effectively move the sine to the other side to get theta equaling sine inverse of 7 over 10. And again, 7 over 10 is an easy fraction to convert. That's just 0 0.7. But let's show how we can type this in on the calculator all at once. So we're going to start with our fraction on the inside here. So it's going to be 7 divided by 10. And then I hit my equal sign. And I get 0 0.7. Now I can hit my trig drop down and second function. And because we're using sine inverse this time, I'm going to click on the sine inverse button. And now I know that angle theta has to be 44.4 degrees. The last triangle here, let's take a look at it. So the angle is down at the bottom here that we are focusing on. That means that opposite is over here, adjacent is here, and hypotenuse is always on that side. In this case, we are given the opposite and we're given the adjacent, and we don't have any information about the hypotenuse, so that means we have to find a trig ratio that combines opposite and adjacent. And the only one that's left is tangent, and that's actually the one that we're using. So the opposite is going to be 15, and the adjacent is going to be 22. The trig ratio we're using is tan of theta, which equals opposite over adjacent. And plugging in what we know, we don't know what theta is, that's where we're actually calculating. We get 15 over 22. Moving 
tan to the other side, or effectively moving it to the other side, we end up getting theta equals the tan inverse of 15 over 22. Now again, this is not an easy one to figure out here. If you do decide to calculate the fraction first, make sure you keep at least four decimal places. When we type this in on our calculator, let me just move this over here so we can see what we're doing. I'm going to start by typing in 15 divided by 22 and hit equals. Now I can click on my trig dropdown, then the second function, and we're using tan inverse this time. And we know that angle theta has to be 34.3 degrees. In order to find out the measure of an angle in a right angle triangle, you need to know two side lengths. For homework tonight, you have some textbook work, but I'm also going to leave these last two questions for homework as well, too. Good luck. If you have any questions at all, please make sure you reach out and contact me. I'm here to help you.